I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good day, good day, Drew Neiser. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? Hey, it's uh, it's terrific here in New York City. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, well, do tell us which of your talents, Drew, is responsible for us connecting at this time. Being the host of Renegade Thinkers Unite, a podcast that I host for marketers. Oh, that's great. Tell us more about the podcast and what you do there, please. So the podcast, I've been interviewing chief marketing officers mainly. Uh, I think I've recorded now 80 of them, 54 in the market and uh, built a, a really one, wonderful following. That's great. Congratulations. Podcasting is amazing, isn't it? It is. It's a lot more work than people think. Yeah, definitely. It's like producing an album, right? A music album. Yeah. And then someone goes and pirates it, right? It's like, you don't (laughs) know the work that went into that. Uh, Well, I'm not so worried about anybody pirating my show, but I will tell you this. It... The recording of it is the easy part. The marketing of it, we made a list. There are 35 steps that we take after we record every episode. Wow. Wow. Who would have thought, right? Yeah, Uh, exactly. So who did you learn the skill of podcasting from? You know, I just, um, I winged it. I'm a, I'm a, sometimes I'm a ready fire aim guy and, and I've learned and I made a ton of mistakes. And in fact, I recorded 30 episodes before I actually Uh, launched the show because I was unhappy with 25 of them. And when I finally got it right, I launched the show. That's great. Did you use the 25 before that you had there? I did. I used them later and I just figured that people would be more forgiving after they had heard some really good quality ones. (laughs) You know, there were issues with sound quality and other things like that. Just took me a while to figure out the right format. Yeah, which is fun, which is a lot like business, isn't it? it? Even marketing. It is. It's sometimes it's just trial and error. You want to be smart about things, but sometimes you just have to get in there and do it and figure it out. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, oh, the embarrassment sometimes, but it is what it's worth, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, tell someone out there, Drew, who, um, you know, the person who is out there who probably is not um, starting, they're probably procrastinating. Um, why you will continue to do what you're doing, nevertheless, uh, the challenges that you've um, encountered. Well, what I love about interviewing is that it forces you to listen and writing forces you to understand. So every single interview, I also write an article about it. So it makes me understand what I'm what I'm doing with it. And, and I learn something every single time. And that makes me smarter and more confident when I'm advising uh, Renegade's clients. That's my agency is called Renegade. Hmm, that's a great idea. Ooh, I would love to do that. But I'm not able to do that right now, but definitely I've seen the value of what writing um, combines in your life. Definitely growth there. Uh, Tell us about the agency. So Renegade is um, is really dedicated to helping chief marketing officers, uh, particularly courageous ones, cut through the crap of, of marketing. And there's a lot of crap out there. They we do a lot of content and uh, social media with a strong social, uh, I'm sorry, strong uh, storytelling uh, 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 component. Yeah, which is the thing that will definitely last, I think, is the thing that will um, definitely last um, the longevity of time. Would you agree? Yes, I think if you get the brand story right, uh, it just makes everything else uh, uh, so much easier. And your content is interesting and memorable. And it doesn't matter what channel you uh, share that content on, as long as you have a really good, strong uh, story at the beginning of it. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Well, Drew, I'm intrigued to know what's one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years? Well, that's been it. I've been, these interviews has, I've been doing now for almost seven years. I've interviewed over 250 chief marketing officers and it has just been an amazing journey, uh, to do that. And there's only one other person in the United States that I know of that's interviewed more. Hmm. How does that make you feel? I, it, it makes me feel smarter. I, I just, I have to say, when you get all of this information into your brain, it's like a Vulcan mind meld, and it really helps uh, me be a better advisor to to our clients. Hmm. What did you say it's like, a Vulcan what? <laughs> oh, that's a Star Trek uh, reference. I'm sorry. That's uh, uh, Spock uh, would uh, m- uh, 
touch someone's head and and they would be able to he would be able to get the intelligence of that individual oh, just sweet. by touching oh, it. Oh, Star Trek. <laughs> oh, there we go. Love it. Yeah. yeah, just for everyone that's listening. Let them understand, yeah? Uh-huh. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. All right. So why would you suggest someone do what you've done? Um, now, you've definitely held the torch by being the individual who has developed his story, right? And now you have others communicate their story. Why would you suggest someone do exactly that? Which is... You know, just just represent what you're selling by doing it. I, I really think that, uh, you know, when you start to talk to other people and you get that information from them um, and you force yourself to write about it, you start to understand things. And by doing that, it allows you to do what we call marketing as service, where you're not selling yourself because you say, Hey, buy my product. You're selling yourself because here's some information that we figured out. That's a value to you. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a, this is just all part of this greater world of content marketing and it just, it makes you smart, but it also helps you uh, attract new customers. Mm -hmm. Now, amazing audience, before I go to my next segment, uh, definitely we're speaking with Drew Neiser. Again, he is the podcast host as well, right? But what I'd like to share with is um, his, with you all is his LinkedIn profile and the heading, right? So he's an award-winning renegade thinker, top 10 CMO influencer, uh, motivational speaker, author, podcaster, and wannabe time traveler. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Drew, where's the best place for someone to connect with you? Where would you point us to? They could come to renegade.com and uh, and they find uh, just about links to everything or they could go to Renegade Thinkers Unite, which is our podcast uh, page. Now, Drew, just like that wannabe time traveler, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Drew, what is your earliest childhood memory? I think it's falling off a jungle gym and landing on my face. Ooh, ouchie. How old do you think you were? (laughs) I think I was about three to four years old. Why do you think this memory is so clear? And how do you see it connecting to who you are today? It's just funny. I it was this startling transition from having fun hanging upside down and then suddenly crashing to the ground. It also left a tiny little scar on my lip that I have today. But I think it's that moment of where, oh, this could be amazing. Oh, this wasn't amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's amazing. So have you seen that like uh, been echo? Like, has that been an echo through your life where amazing, not so amazing? Well, you know, I, I would sort of flip it around. There have been many moments in my life where they didn't go as expected, but it worked out better. Uh, which is just, it's like I didn't get into one college, ended up going to another college, and that college was the most amazing experience. I didn't get into film school, so I went to New York to work in, uh, and had an incredible experience, and my life was launched. So many times in my life, something that didn't seem to work out ended up uh, triggering something uh, uh, really terrific. So I, I, I sort of, uh, oper- you know, uh, crises are terrible things to waste. And, and I think I've, I've lived a life of, of crises and, and overcoming them. Hmm. It, one thing sticks out to me. I definitely love the way you connected the dots. The one thing I just stick in there is it's truly a jungle out there. <laughs> yes there you go well done oh, would you if we fast forward it to when you were 12 what was your favorite song so absolutely sunshine of your love by cream do 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 best air guitar song ever love it love it would you we've arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there is a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more we're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes. Drew, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Not yet. Are you married? I am. Do you have children? Yes, I have two amazing grown-up kids and a French bulldog. Do you believe in God? So like Ben Franklin, I describe myself as a deist, someone who believes God inter- doesn't uh, intervene in the affairs of men. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Nope. How about three hours a week? Uh, about an hour a day with my wife. I watch uh, 
basketball games for Duke basketball, my alma mater. And that is the one time when I might watch more than one hour a day. All right. And what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more? Oh, than my eight? gosh. <laughs> oh, absolutely. If you add in uh, listening to books uh, on audio and podcasts on audio and then an hour of social media every day. Uh, so, yeah, it's probably 10 hours a day on screens. If you Drew, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Drew Neiser, what would you say that is? Like Life is too short not to cut through the crap. Hmm, I love it. And if you need to, jump on the time machine and move from where you are. Drew, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Yes. Stay humble. Business history is strewn with the carcasses of the overconfident. Hmm, love it. Drew Neiser, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.